Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in beautiful Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2017 Keystone Sprinter 29FK. It's a beautiful front kitchen floor plan. Let's go ahead and start up front here, we'll make our way back and then head on in. So first thing you'll notice is power tongue jack. This really makes it a lot easier for hooking up or disconnecting uh, to the tow vehicle. Just touch of a button to go ahead and raise and lower the tongue. Also, you're gonna have an outside light here, so if you are uh, connecting or disconnecting at night, you can see what you're doing. Right behind that's gonna be the propane tank cover, 30 pound propane tank cover, because on this coach you will have dual 30 pound propane tanks. So that's wonderful if you're doing, uh, you know, if you're going camping for an extended period of time, it's gonna be the colder season, you want a lot of heat, plenty of propane on the 29FK. Right behind that uh, is the box for your battery and nice fiberglass front end on here. You'll see right here is the diamond plating, so if you do have any rocks or anything that get thrown up by the tow vehicle, it's not going to scratch up the fiberglass. Let's make our way back a little bit. TV hookups. If you want an outside TV, there you go. You can go ahead and plug the cable right in there and of course you're going to need power. Speaking of power, power awning on here. You can see how big that is. Fantastic power awning, exactly where you're going to want it. Tons of room, just touch the button, that'll roll out. Same thing, to roll right back in. Also, if you notice, uh, in the heads of the awning there, you're going to have speakers. Neat thing about that is when the awning is out, the music will be playing down on your campsite rather than blasting out at your neighbors. So again, that's going to be a cool feature. Underneath the power awning is an LED light strip, that way you don't have to hang all your Christmas lights. And you know, again, just gives a really nice uh, aesthetic and look at night. Getting into the coach, it's really simple. You have three steps. They are going to be aluminum steps. So that way you don't have to worry about them rusting out on you. And you can see right here you have the rubber strips as well in order to help uh, get some traction in case they're wet. Easy grab handle, again, from the very first step. This makes it nice and easy to get in, so that's a great feature, especially if you have uh, bad knees. You're gonna have the correct track alignment system on there. That's gonna be a, a great feature too. What that is, uh, over time it's found that your axles will actually become misaligned. So with the correct track alignment system, you can bring it into a shop, we can easily realign those axles instead of having to cut them and re-weld them like you had to before. So that's a great feature. Aluminum rims on there too, so less chance for any kind of rust or corrosion, which again is something uh, definitely gonna want. Right here, nice big window. We'll see that more when we go inside, but a great window right there. Really lets in a ton of natural light, which is phenomenal. Now, because this one's a front kitchen, the storage is going to be in the back. So you have a smaller storage area right here. You can take a look right there. And if we, when we go to the other side, you'll see the large storage area. Magnetic latch on this side too, which is really nice. Let's come around to the back of the coach with me. So right here is the uh, spare tire. It does come with the cover, that way you don't have to worry about UV rays and everything, beating up that tire, so that's awesome. Of course, that'll be attached to the bumper. Right here is gonna be your satellite and cable plugins. Uh, power uh, stabilizer jacks on both the front and the back. So that's really cool. I'll show you inside too. There, there is a remote, uh, so you can control those uh, via remote, which is really neat. Detachable power cord. The thing I like about a detachable power cord uh, is that you don't have to worry about you know rodents or anything running up in there because if, if it's on a reel and it's built into the camper, you know when it's plugged in, you can get mice in there. The hole's big enough, ants can crawl in there even when the cover's shut. So it's nice having that detachable cord. This is what I was talking about. This is going to be your main storage area. You can take a look. This is going to go underneath the bed as well. So you do have two access points, either from right outside here uh, or inside underneath the bed. And then uh, outside shower right there, that will have both hot and cold access. All right, folks, pretty much going to wrap it up on the outside. Let's go take a look at the interior. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Sprinter 29FK. You'll see behind me the beautiful front kitchen here, but let's start off on the super slide. In the super slide, you have the uh, tri-fold sofa here, which is fantastic. Not only is it gonna be very comfortable to sit in, but it also makes into a nice bed. You don't have the bar in your back, don't have to worry about an air mattress, it's gonna deflate on you halfway through the night. So excellent bed in case you do have guests that wanna stay the night. Of course, windows all the way around let in a ton of natural light and LED lights throughout, even on your uh, overhead shade here, all LED, which is great, because if you don't have full hookup, it means it's gonna use 
use a lot less power. Freestanding table and chairs. Again, in this floor plan, I really like it. Not only does it have the nice aesthetic and look to it, but also the table and chairs make it a lot easier to get in and out of um, rather than the booth. You have more room, more space. And seeing as how you have the trifold sofa where you can sleep two adults, you don't really need that extra sleeping space. So I think that really is a good choice for this floor plan. So we move it to the front of the unit. You take a look at a ton of storage. Huge advantage of the front kitchen, great storage in here. Open this up on the side you can see great pantry storage there same thing here on the top you have excellent uh, storage up there that will be strut assisted so one hand operation which is nice now you don't have to hold it up while trying to reach up there and grab things so that's cool uh, same thing here more storage right there so storage throughout all up top we'll take a look at the bottom here in just a moment this is going to be the microwave, stainless steel right there. Same thing with the hood, uh, you know, stainless steel throughout. And that, of course, will have your uh, light and fan. A couple more LED lights right here really brighten up this kitchen space, especially in conjunction with the windows during the day. And the beautiful front window right here really lets in a ton of natural light. So I love that. That way, you know, if you're doing dishes, you can open that up and have a, a nice view out the front. A couple different plugins. You have the plug in right here, which is perfect for like a stationary coffee maker or blender something like that you also have a plug-in that's going to be right underneath here so if you need to plug in um, something else you can certainly do that huge countertop space you know when you have a kitchen this size you want a lot of prep space and you certainly get that a ton of countertop and prep space here you also have the sink top cover which helps uh, aid in the prep space you can take a look there double bowl sink larger bowl on the left smaller on the right and the high-rise faucet three burner atwood cooktop there the front one is going to be high output stainless steel front on the oven as well and again if you want to do any kind of baking you can certainly do it right there big pull out drawer underneath so this is great excellent place for pots and pans you know things are a little bit larger um, you know maybe if again if you are one that likes to bake and you're bringing along a muffin tray or something you can throw that in there really just whatever you want good storage underneath the sink perfect place for a trash can if you um, are looking for a place that's one right there two large full extension drawers you need to have that you need to have a place to put your silverware so you certainly can have that and then again great storage underneath there so huge storage and prep space throughout this entire kitchen open this up this of course will be the fridge freezer um, you know great space in here too you can take a look you can see plenty of space for everything you're gonna need you have the crisper drawer down below I like the way this one opens it's nice and easy uh, this will be the Dometic this runs off of both propane and electric and it's also gonna have automatic switchover now not only do you have the couch for a seating area you know and the kitchen's beautiful but you have to have a place to sit so you have the couch you also get this chair right over here which is phenomenal very very comfortable you can see here it's going to be nice and plush it is also going to swivel for you and you get a great view right here to the entertainment center so 32 inch LED TV you, it will be on a swing arm mount so whether you're you know sitting in the couch the uh, table and chairs are on this chair here you can have a good view of it and then good storage around the entertainment center as well right up top here you can see you have the storage beautiful decorative glass on here as well I think they did a good job there extra storage right there same thing on the side you can see nice tall storage right there and you have storage here underneath now right uh, right underneath the TV this is going to be the sound bar so this is for, uh, for superior sound quality especially if you're uh, watching TV and this is also what controls the speakers outside I mentioned it is Bluetooth capable and that's what I was referring to you can go ahead and control the different speaker zones so if you just want to use the ones in the awning or just this one in here you can certainly do that as well as we come around the corner here, I want to show you, this is where the Rapid Camp remote goes. It's currently tucked away, but this, uh, I was mentioning as well when we were outside, this controls your power stabilizing jacks. It'll also control your awning, so you can roll your awning in and out and your LED light strip underneath. The thing I, I like about that is if you're in a tight camp spot, you can take that remote outside with you, open that awning up, make sure you're not going to hit anything. So that's a really neat feature. And then your control panel, nice and up high, so you don't have to worry about little ones coming and messing with it. Uh, I like the location of that as well. 
as you can see plenty of space in the bathroom it will have two entrances one into the uh, main living space and the other one is going to go directly into the bedroom right down in the corner is going to be your foot flush lever toilet plenty of leg room all the way around and then over here actually right here behind me rather big linen closet you can take a look at that plenty of storage for everything you're going to need all of your towels all of your other bathroom accessories just great storage there and then next to that is the neo angle shower uh, i like the neo angle shower i love the door system on here nice and easy to lock you just have this rubber gasket and it has a magnetic seal so when you're in it it does stay shut but then when you open it it actually is going to run in a track inside the shower pan so all of your uh, water is going to stay in the shower basin and not go all over the floor uh, but plenty of room in the neo angle shower as well you have a couple of shelves there hand wand so it's easy to wash up and up top is going to be a big skylight which lets in a lot of natural light and gives you additional headroom right over here is the mirrored medicine cabinet great storage behind that as well plenty of countertop space here nice big sink and it sticks out a ways so it's easy if you're going to brush your teeth or anything you have plenty of room plug in right there for hair dryer or curling iron and you're going to have additional storage underneath of course there is going to be a fan in here in case you need to uh, vent it out also uh, ac so if it is going to be really hot it gets nice and cool with the ac in here all right it's going to wrap it up for the bathroom let's go take a look at the bedroom the bedroom in the 29 fk is huge part of that's going to be due to the fact you have a slide out queen bed and look at this it's a full walk around bed nice and easy making the bed is a breeze you can actually reach the top of the bed unlike a lot of them so i love that feature also as i showed you outside this does lift up it's going to be strut supported and you have a ton of storage under there access from both the bed and the outside storage if you take a look up at the head of the bed you'll see the two shelves so if you have a glass of water or anything you need to charge your cell phone you can put it there you also have storage up above and a nice led light right here big back window i love this if you're backed up to a uh, beautiful view whether it's lakefront oceanfront whatever you can open this up you have a gorgeous view outside first thing when you wake up in the morning that's a really neat feature right over here also is a built-in shelf with a plug-in so again if you want to charge cell phones you can do that if you have a cpap machine you can put that on the shelf and plug it in so uh, i like that they did that there as well then here at the foot of the bed mirrored wardrobe space can open this up you have a nice hanging rod to hang all your clothes there uh, you have another drawer right here and then right at the foot of the bed is going to be your dresser you have five drawers two really big ones here and then three smaller ones on the side now if you are one that likes to watch TV don't fret your hookups gonna be right there so you can go ahead and uh, mount that big window here as well again really lets in a ton of natural light now this unit does come equipped with one AC but if you take a look right here you'll see you have a vent up top and that's gonna be pre-wired for a second an AC unit so if you are staying in Arizona or somewhere where it's constantly warm and you really want that second AC you can definitely put one in this RV all right folks that's pretty much going to wrap it up uh, again this is the 2017 keystone sprinter 29 fk this is a really really cool front kitchen floor plan that front slide really opens it up in that main space a ton of room in that kitchen great countertop great storage excellent living space the bedroom is phenomenal this is one you really need to come and take a look at if you do have any questions or comments please feel free to leave those in the section below or you can always give myself ian baker a call here at american rv and i'll be happy to answer that way as well if you do have uh, particular questions about specs on the unit such as length or weight i highly encourage you to visit our website which is americanrv.com and you'll find all the answers you're looking for thanks again for watching i'm ian baker and i can't wait to see you on the road to freedom